Traders every day are earning thousands of dollars for themselves trading the market. What separates them from you is that these traders possess certain knowledge and tools the everyday person does not have. Tools that if you knew how to use, you too can make money every day with. Learn the right skills, tips and strategies from the very best at www.tradegenius. Didn't expect to see you. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, and has it changed? Like when you, when you look at like three million views per press conference, it seems like. So, like has this tour kind of changed your expectation at all? It, it has absolutely changed our expectations. Um, at the start of the tour, we knew we had a big fight, uh, but we were still under the impression that that. Uh, the Mayweather Pacquiao was sort of a untouchable. It was a once in a lifetime, like David said, it, it was a unicorn. Um, it's early and it can't translate all of this stuff into buys, but by every metric, you know, by the stories, by the traffic you guys are seeing, by the traffic we're seeing, by the, the fan outpouring, by the media requests. I mean, to have, you know, we had to cut off the media requests at 300 last night in Brooklyn, and that's the third day of the media tour. So by every measure, this is far and above anything we saw in Mayweather Pacquiao. Now, of course, this is, we're six weeks out. It doesn't necessarily all translate to buys, but it's a great indicator. Because it's a billion, huh? Yeah, I, I think that's, yeah. If you extrapolate, I think we're looking at a billion buys, roughly, give or take. A billion dollars. <laughs> um, a billion, look, again, you, you start talking about numbers that sound silly. Um, but at 600 million, roughly a little bit over that for Mayweather Pacquiao, you know, you're looking at a 50% increase. You know, I'm bullish, but not that bullish. How has it been for you to kind of be more involved in the promotion? You're not really used to it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a firm belief that these sort of TV execs, uh, you know, should say behind the scenes, there's really no need for a TV exec to be part of the promotion. Uh, Apparently, Connor feels differently. Um, so it, it's uh, it, you know it's it's spiced it up. I, I, it's the first time it's happened. In my career. It's the first time I've uh, taken it. I'm not sure if it's microphone gate or my association with Floyd or whatever it is, but uh, it's been entertaining. <laughs> Um, what was your view of that? What was happening last night? Your opinion was about what said. Look, it wouldn't be being uh, honest if I didn't say that there, there are some points where I cringed um, and stuff that I read and stuff that I heard. Um, Do you mind being called a weasel? That's a first, isn't it? It, uh, it is a first. It's certainly on the, on the range of, uh, of insults that's sort of at the low end. Uh, so it really didn't stick out. Um, you know, some of the stuff is heat of the moment. You know, some of it is in context. Um, you know, the, the dancing comment. You know, it, it certainly has racial overtones. But Floyd was dancing at that point. You know, he danced his way in. Um, you know, in some sense. I'm not making an excuse because I think some of the other statements, the connotations, are frankly indefensible. And it would be, I, I disagree slightly with Dana. I, I don't believe this has to be or should be part of the promotion. Um, and and I, I do wish that, you know, maybe the line had been drawn a little bit this side of where some of the conduct has been. Having said that, emotions run high. You know, this isn't badminton. And uh, these are guys who are putting their health and, and livelihoods at risk. So I understand, you know, the, uh, the tensions. Do you believe the boy comment was just a, like, like a cultural mix-up? Because Connor is, is, is often referred to his, his, his previous opponents as boy, like referred to Nate Diaz in Mexican descent as boy, and referred to other fighters as well. Yeah, it, it, you, it, it, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's sort of, it just generally it's the meaning comment. It's obviously, a, it's a way to sort of demean your opponent, but you know, in that context, it does have a different history, um, a different connotation. You know, look, am I going to hold him to a strict standard and say, look, in the heat of that moment, in front of that stage with the adrenaline, the emotions running high, he should have taken stock of a cultural meaning of a phrase 
from a country that he's not from. It, you know, I'm certainly not here to make excuses for him, but you know, what, what to me alarms me more is not really one or two comments, but a, a pattern of, of several. Then the question, that's what I really start cringing. Steve, what do you think of people who think that this is the highlight of it? I mean, these are two of the best promoters and talkers, and then you know, perhaps once they step into the ring, it might not be as same. What would you think of those things where, should I spend the money on this pay-per-view or not? Well, I, I think that the, the big question mark is what Floyd Mayweather we're going to get on August 26th. Um, let's be honest, if this was Floyd Mayweather in his prime, if this is Floyd five years ago, seven years ago, it's not an interesting fight. It was difficult to find anybody to be competitive with him over the last several years. We thought Canelo was the young, strong, new champion. That was pretty one-sided. We thought Pacquiao. Pacquiao was pretty one-sided. Um, you know, if you look at who's been successful against Floyd lately, you'd say Marcos Maidana. And Marcos Maidana has never been mistaken for a, a tactical expert. He is rough and tough and aggressive and strong, and he basically tries to win through brute force and sheer will. Those are a lot of the same adjectives people use when they're describing Conor McGregor. So I think where this fight becomes intriguing is if you've got a Floyd Mayweather that you know has, we've seen the toll of two years out of the ring, and it's 38 to 40 is a, it's a prime period in a man's physiology. I'm not sure which Floyd Mayweather we're going to see, or, or the Floyd Mayweather we're going to see on August 26th is the same one we've been seeing, and if not, then I think Connor has a very good chance. From a short time perspective, looking at Eagles moving and trends, you know, looking at guys like Floyd Mayweather who have been that massive new movement, probably one of the only new movers in boxing, did you really expect Connor to match that when he came up his new um, you, you know, I, I've been a, I, I'm somewhere above, I'm certainly not a hardcore fan of MMA, but I'm above a casual fan, and I've followed and the phenomenon that's Connor. Um, I hadn't seen it up close and personal. Uh, I hadn't paid attention to his social media, uh, you know, his, the, the responses and, and the fervor that he generates. Uh, it's been fascinating for him to draw, you know, 80, 85% of the crowd in Los Angeles. You know, for him to do the same in New York. Um, Toronto was not unexpected, but there's a fervor online and in person that is remarkable. Um, you know, you, you really can't over, overstate it. Um, you say, you know, you, you never want to make uh, comparisons to Muhammad Ali, but, you know, maybe The Rock is a better example. Um, you know, his, his action, his fight is not scripted, but, in terms of the charisma and the ability to extemporaneously hold court, command the stage, you know, maneuver a crowd. Uh, there are few people in show business, you know, music who do it as well as he does. Hey Fight Fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps, and if you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and do so by clicking this icon right here. Oh, and if you're also in any need of any boxing gear, make sure you make your way over to ProBoxingSupplies.com.